Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to select a checkbox field present in a grid. Let me answer. I'll show you one of the website where these checkbox options are present inside a grid. I'll copy this URL and open this browser. And you can see a grid of checkbox fields, okay, on this page. See, jQuery grid checkbox selection, whatever the technology, it doesn't matter. It's a grid of checkbox selection. So you can see here, there are a lot of uh, checkbox fields. They, they are like in a group or a grid or like a set, okay? So you can select multiple options here. For example, I would like to select this uh, three options, Chai, Chang, and Ikura. Three options I would like to select, okay? So how to select such uh, checkboxes in a grid? It is very simple using the normal click command. Using the normal click command, we can select the checkboxes. But here, every checkbox, uh, you know, uh, cannot be located individually. We have to take the help of this product name to identify this checkbox and then select. We have to create a proper XPath expression to locate the checkbox field based on the product name, etc. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have this sample Selenium automation code, which is uh, already written. Let me clear this stuff. Here we have some sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser, and here for opening the application URL in the browser. So I'll open this application URL in the browser like this, okay? Once you open the application URL in the browser, now I would like to select these three checkbox fields, okay? These three checkbox fields I would like to locate. First, I'll inspect this checkbox field, where, which is having the product name as Chai. So when I inspect that, uh, I'm getting this, uh, this has a HTML code, okay? This particular thing has a HTML code. So is there any direct way to locate this? Uh, is there any chai kind of text here? No, right? So what I'll do here is, uh, uh, here we have the chai kind of thing and this is the input text box field, okay? This is a checkbox field and this is a chai kind of thing, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll copy this chai and uh, control F, double slash TD, text is equal to, text function is equal to, like this I'll create a kind of XPath expression. Uh, and uh, square bracket, it will locate this one, but I need to locate this input with the help of this one. So for that, uh, we have a preceding sibling with the same TD slash preceding hyphen sibling colon colon TD. It is locating this one. Under that, we have the input slash input, I'll say. Okay, copy this, copy this, and now come back here and uh, write text path expression driver dot find element by dot xpath, give the xpath expression and simply say dot click. Now, if you want to locate this one, if you want to select this Chang related one, simple guys, very simple. Here, uh, copy this line, copy this line, paste it here and in place of Chai, put Chang. Just put this Chang here, that's it. Again, if you want to select the the last checkbox field having some different name that is, uh, you know, uh, Ikura, copy that. And here in place of Chai R Chang, place Ikura. That's it. Now run this code and you'll see that all the checkbox fields, okay, in that particular grid, okay, will be selected with the help of the simple click command, okay. Multiple checkbox fields can be selected as we already know in Selenium automation. And in this grid also, the multiple checkbox fields can be selected, okay. We have simply created a uh, a kind of uh, nice, uh, you know, XPath expression we can, which can do the job. You see, uh, Chai got selected, Chai got selected, but uh, Ikura is not selected somehow. So maybe element click intercepted exception. Let me try it again. Right click run as Java application. Let's see what's happening again. Maybe we need to scroll a bit down for that particular application. Okay, it's loading. Once the page loads, Selenium will wait until the page loads. Okay, you see there is some, this one is coming in between actually. So what we can do is I'll inspect this uh, accept cookies once and see what is there. Accept cookies inspect. 
okay does it have any id yes it has an id copy this id and first let's accept the cookies here and then we'll select the option private or find element by dot uh, sometimes what happens is some other elements will come in between okay so we have to get rid of that elements so to avoid that kind of exception known as uh, ele element click intercepted exception or whatever it is dot click simple click command to select that accept button here we are getting accept cookies right i'm just clicking once i click it it will go off then let's see whether it is selecting or not okay so right click run as java application let's see this time what will happen don't know whether that uh, yeah let's see what will happen anyhow the page is taking time so till the page uh, loads uh, selenium will wait by the time if the accept cookies comes we need to click on that accept cookies uh, once the page loads, accept cookies. Now you see everything is working fine, no interruptions. So this is how guys we can, uh, you know, uh, we can select a checkbox field or checkbox fields which are present inside a grid or in a grid, okay, uh, together. So with practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.